Hi everyone, welcome to the session. Today we are going to see what are vector subspaces. So consider a vector space V and let us denote vector subspace as U. So this is our vector space. Then U will be a subset of V. And one more condition, U should not be a null set. At least one element should be there inside the vector space, sub, subspace U. And uh, U, uh, the group U plus star should be, is a vector space. If and only if addition such that U cross U gives you U and multiplication such that R cross U gives you U. That means that when we add two uh, elements of U, it will give you the result inside U itself. Suppose X and Y are two elements in U. When we add X and Y, the result, the sum should also belong to U. Then the second condition is R cross U. That means we have the set of real numbers. And if we take some lambda value from this and when we multiply this lambda with x or some element of u, the result should also belong to u itself. Okay. It should not be uh, outside u. Okay. This should not happen. So, in uh, if you take a vector space, a vector subspace like this, these two conditions should be satisfied. And we can define uh, these conditions specifically like this. Suppose u is the subspace and x and y are some of the two elements of u. Then u should contain 0. That is one of the important condition to make a, a subset as a subspace. Then second one is if x, y belong to u, then x plus y should also belong to u. In the third condition, x belongs to u and a belongs to r, then ax should also belong to u. And since u is a subset of v, u has all the properties of v like uh, existence of uh, inverse, neutral element, associativity, all those things are there. Okay, then let's see the example. Very trivial example for a subspace is the set 0 itself. Um, because uh, this u has only one element 0, it has only one element 0 and uh, the first condition is satisfied, 0 is included in u. Then the second condition, when we add two elements, any two elements of u, the result should also belong to u. So we add 0 plus 0, the result is 0. Uh, we are adding 0 itself because we have only one element in u. Then we multiply any um, any element of u with a scalar value, the result should also belong to u. So, a into 0 will give you 0. So, that third condition is also satisfied. That means all properties of a subspace are satisfied. So, I can call that the set 0 as a subspace. Then another trivial example is the set v itself. I can call v is a subspace, subset of or subspace of V itself. Okay, then consider another example um, R2 as our uh, sub, uh, as our vector space. R2 is actually uh, used to represent the 2D plane where uh, R2 means uh, any vector with the two elements. So, uh, this two elements actually corresponds to the XY coordinates in the 2D plane. So these are the coordinates uh, and they take this entire xy plane as the vector v. Okay, Consider the entire plane as v and uh, let's check whether this sub, uh, subset of uh, the xy plane is a subspace or not. Okay, then how do we check? Assume we have uh, taken two vectors x and y in this inside the subspace. And um, uh, we have included the origin inside the uh, inside the subset. In, inside this blue boundary, we have the origin zero is there. So for the uh, uh, for the subspace, the first condition is satisfied. Zero is belonging to this uh, subset. Then second one is x plus y should also belong to u. 
and third condition is um, ax should also belong to u where a is a real number or a scalar okay so let's check the first condition is satisfied it is satisfied then let's consider the second condition x plus y so we can just add this uh, x and y these two vectors okay so in order to add we can move this y up at the tip of x and this longest one represents the x plus y okay so you can see that uh, you can see that the result x plus y is lying outside this subset okay it is uh, our boundary is up to this and uh, this uh, x plus y is lying outside okay so that means that x plus y does not belong to u then ax we find out ax suppose we uh, find the scalar multiplication 2x okay we multiply x with 2 and we find 2x and you can see that the 2x is also uh, lying outside the boundary so this condition is also not satisfied so we can say that this boundary or the subset of x y is not a subspace because these two conditions are not satisfied okay let's take another uh, subset of x y plane subset this blue shaded part is the subset um, we can check whether it is a subspace or not okay the zero is included here so um, the first condition is satisfied but when you try to add two vectors inside the set suppose you are adding one vector from here and one vector from here so this boundary line okay so when you add it you will get a vector like somewhere over here okay so the vector will be somewhere here okay so that means that it is lying outside the sum is a lying outside so this we cannot say that this is a uh, subspace okay then take another vector this line as a subspace can we consider this line as a subspace no why because it does not contain zero so origin is somewhere here and the line is going in that way so it, it does not include zero so the first condition itself is false so we cannot say that this subspace this line is a subspace this is not a subspace and when we take this origin only on we take only origin as a subspace that is possible because zero is included and zero plus zero is u and uh, we multiply any scalar scalar value with zero the result is remains zero okay so this single point uh, this single point that is the origin can be a subspace Another example, uh, the solution of a uh, solution set of homogeneous system of linear equations with n, n unknowns is a subspace of Rn. Okay, so it is a subspace. And let's check how it, uh, it is a subspace. So uh, when a set uh, to be a subspace, we have to uh, satisfy three conditions. One is zero should be there. Then when we add the elements of the subset, the sum should also belong to the same set itself. And when we multiply it with a scalar value, the result uh, belongs to the same subset, the same set. Then only we can call it as a subspace. Okay, so let's consider the homogeneous set of equations as Ax equal to 0. A represents the coordinate vectors, uh, coordinate vector, then as uh, not coordinate vector, sorry, it is coefficient vector and x is the set of variables and the right hand side is always zeros so let's represent x as x1 x2 etc x n since uh, we said like uh, n unknowns are there so the solution set to x is a subspace of r n okay so uh, we can check how it comes like that let's take an example we take three um, equations uh, 2x plus 3y minus z equal to 0, x plus 2y plus z equal to 0, 4x plus 5y minus 5z equal to 0. So, this is our system of linear equations in the form of ax equal to 0. And these three conditions should be satisfied. That means 0 should be there in the uh, solution set. So, uh, let us assume u as the solution set. 
solution set okay so it should contain zero then u1 plus u2 so u1 and u2 are some of the elements belonging to u that means these are uh, this is one solution this is another solution and when we add these two solutions this should also belong to the same solution set that is the second condition then third condition when we multiply any solution with a scalar value that also be a solution that also belong to u okay so let's uh, check uh, the solution so the solution when we solve this equation the solution set looks like this is said uh, it, it the solution will be in terms of z uh, the sol this is the solution set is said into phi into the vector phi negative 3 and 1 okay so when we substitute the value for z any real number uh, for simplicity we are taking only integers 0 1 2 3 etc we can assign any real value to z and we will get many solutions okay so the solution set contains uh, many uh, many solutions so when we take z equal to 0 z equal to 0 so 0 into this vector the result will be a 0 vector again okay so this is the first one when we take z equal to 0 this will be the solution all variables are zeros x y and z are zeros then when we take z equal to 1 the result will be like this 5 minus 3 into 1 okay 1 into 5 minus 3 1 the result will be like this then we take z equal to 2 the answer will be like this 10 minus 6 2 and it goes like that uh, for z equal to 3 4 5 etc so it goes like that and let's check whether it satisfies these three conditions okay the first condition is satisfied the first condition satisfied because the zero vector is available here okay so first condition satisfied the next condition is um, u1 plus u2 uh, is equal to uh, u1 plus u2 is also belonging to u okay so let's take this as u1 and this one as u2 and just find out the sum it will be 15 minus 9 3 so that is here you can find that solution that sum is also belonging to the same set okay so you can take any u1 u2 any solution as u1 and u2 you can find the sum in the same set itself so this condition is also satisfied let's go to the third condition that is this scalar multiplied answer suppose we multiply 3 into v1 so u1 sorry so this is u1 this is u1 we multiply it with 3 what will be the result 15 uh, minus 9 and 3 so 15 minus 9 and 3 it is there okay so this uh, scalar multiplied value is also belonging to u so the same con the third condition is also satisfied so since the three conditions are satisfied we can say that this solution set is a subspace of rn r here n is 3 okay so this is a subspace of r3 and another uh, example this is not example um, the solution of an inhomogeneous system of linear equations is not a subspace of rn that is ax equal to p where b is not equal to zero okay so why it is called means on the right hand side we have no zero so we have no guarantee that all the x values are zero and hence our first condition itself will be false that means u zero will not be belonging to the solution set okay when you find the solution this vector will not be there so this will not be there so this is not a subspace okay so all the uh, homogeneous system of equations can produce subspaces but in homogeneous uh, system in homogeneous system of linear equations cannot produce subspaces okay 
so there will not be a zero in the solution set so it is not a subspace so that's all about the subspaces thank you